Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome back to Dark Season. Let's get into it. So, standard kind of stuff. We got Brave Robin setting up the stones. I'm trying the desert map this week, which seems to be popular, but I was going to try it anyway, to be honest. I'm, I want to try all these different terrain where it's got, like, annoying shit to work with Robin. Like, the last couple weeks I used the jungle... Uh, I want to try the one with the vines all in the middle, like, there's a lot of annoying stuff you can do with this, but I'm trying the desert this week. So we got the stones like that, and then fortress here, boom, boom, makes it very annoying to actually engage on this team. Uh, you basically have to come in from the side and incur the wrath of Felix and Alphonse. Uh, speaking of which, I got Felix. I ascended his speed. I don't remember if I did that last week, but I ascended his speed. I moved Harding, Hardy Bearing from Robin to Felix, so now Felix will be able to deal with Ike a bit more efficiently, and also the rare vantage unit that probably doesn't do anything anyway. <laughs> uh, but with Bernie, with Bernie running around, you never know. Uh, anyway, Azura. Oh, and he has Celica Ring. Uh, Ajara, best friends with Felix, gives him NFU, no panic, attack speed plus six, uh, and then the dance gives him double insight, essentially. Shadow Shift is there on the miracle chance that it'll actually work, but it's better than her normal C slots. Uh, I have non-blessed gatekeeper. <laughs> uh, I, I'm only realizing this now that I forgot to bless this guy. But, as you'll come to see in this video, it didn't really matter. Uh, he's basically there to block off warping, and that's about it. Like, he, the ploy is also really nice, but it's mainly just to block off warping so they have to get in more honestly. I got Duo Fjorm to fill up the Duo slot, uh, best far save in the game, without question. That's about that. He's bonus also, so... Yeah. Alphonse is tanky frontline, just complimenting Felix on this side, and then I have Loki shutting off the lane, and then also within three, uh, she's got like a turbo annoying ploy thing going on. And as far as my structure placement, I really didn't know what to do, I kind of just placed them in alternating spots to be as annoying as possible to creep in. Like, the objective of, the, of this map is to be annoying, that's about it. Let's get into it. Alright, match number one, you'll see the ice there. Mela, plus two, air, plus one, gatekeeper on offense, good on ya. Ike and Felix, I'm running Felix on offense now as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just blessing him two times a season. So he's gonna try to just tank with Ike, you typically see this a lot as the first replays of the week. But, uh, yeah, takes no damage in retaliation from the Ike, by the way. Love that. And then Felix just comes in. It doesn't even matter. Like, he, he warps in initially, and then he's in far enough to where uh, he can just move in and kill Gatekeeper anyway. So it doesn't even matter. Alright. Number two. Ooh, this guy's got an interesting little team. Their Thus plus Tree, Air plus two, Felix plus one, Dwyer plus ten with the Hortensia stuff. Love seeing people use their favorites, and he's got quite a bit of res, actually. Jeez. Cool. And then Ike plus one. So yeah, love seeing people use their favorites. But, uh, my defense is going to be a tough nut to crack with this kind of team. If you think Ike is going to do the job here. Alphonse. He's got the little aided robot with him, so you know he does, uh, he's got stopping power now, I heard. Felix comes in, number one, two. And then, <laughs> that's, uh, that's it. Simple as that. Match number three, we got, ooh, Alphonse on offense, love it. 
Sather, which isn't going to get much value because I have the Firm Canto Curb, but still a decent unit. Still a decent unit. Oh, I didn't check. All right. Uh, let's see what he can do with these uh, three units, Alphonse, Sharena, and Sather. Uh, Sharena, not going to be able to cut through Alphonse, and Alphonse not going to be able to cut through Felix, so... It's going to be an interesting one, I hope. Okay, so he's not respecting the Felix range, either that or he's overestimating the Alphonse. Oh my god. And that was through their stones, by the way. Felix is just insane, especially with the Ashura support. It's just too much. Alright, what do we got? Alincia plus A. <laughs> Emblem Ike plus A. With the plus seven Celica ring. Fallen Veil plus. Okay. Nice. And the plus 10 Marth Ring. Lumera plus 7. Goto plus 9. Oh, and Asker plus 8. Hey! Bad feeling in the pit of me wallet. But I think Felix can do it. Let's see if that hardy bearing pays off. Oh, also, uh, Gatekeeper with the uh, Harsh Command Plus. He kind of sets up a, a really bootleg rally trap. Look at him just eat that shit, by the way. <laughs> My goat. Anyway, uh, so if Felix can't just one-shot somebody, it seems like Gatekeeper uses Harsh Command on him, and then Ajura just dances him, and she has an AoE dance in... Meaning, like, it doesn't dance more than one person, but the effect spreads to two people. Uh, and her effect is giving insight and stuff like that, so, yeah. The Harsh Command helps cleanse Felix, and then the Ajura Dance gives him the double insight even without him being danced, so it's actually really nice that it works out that way. I assume you dip here, yep. Alright, next one. And, uh, we had another Unable to Replay. Just throwing that out there. I, I keep forgetting what that means. Uh, the first time I made a video, not even the plus 10, All right, anyway. Uh, the first time I made one of these videos and I was like, I don't understand what the Unable to Replay is about. Somebody immediately commented on it and told me, and I just forgot. <laughs> so that's on me. But we have another person trying to tank with Ike in the corners. That is like the most layer one strategy. But... You gotta prepare for the Lair 1 strategy. And this guy doesn't have the Gatekeeper, so Felix gets just to... He gets to twerk on him. Yep. Alright, next one. Felix. Very nice, with the NFU seal. Good on you. Peony. I see a lot of, uh, Triangle Adept Peony. It, like, does that mean you're trying to get a kill with her? I, I don't know. So I know if you're below Vault of Heaven, there's like a mythic thing. Anyway, maybe that's just for chaos. Whatever. But Felix comes in, Hardy Bearing makes Ike a non-issue. Alphonse comes in, you left your peony exposed, brother. Oh, I do. Something in my brain thought that Ajura could have lived that with XL, but... That's not on the table. I wish I didn't blur these names to show you that like 90% of these people have Japanese names. I don't know what it is. I said this before. Chez on offense, by the way. Uh, that's cool. And the Duel Robin's also pretty cool. But anyway, I said this before. I feel like I only fight Japanese people because I do my AR matches at like 3 a.m. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that would actually affect my defense, but I swear 9 out of 10 people are Japanese names. Alright, Felix finally gets to come in. Tamara, no problem. Oh, by the way, this morning, I woke up super early this morning, 
and then I just decided I, I had a little fodder itch. I had a little fodder itch, uh, so I was messing with Marnie a bit more, and then I realized that you could put reopening on armors, which I'd never thought of before, but yeah. Oh, he's out. <laughs> I realized you could put reopening on armors, so I put the I, my spare Alphonse fodder on Tamara. So uh, reopening fortifications, reopening, and uh, actually what I did was I put the fortifications, reopening, and breath of life on attuned Erica, and then I gave Gust. Distant bonus doubler, uh, fortifications, reopening, and null C echo to my Tamara. So fortifications on Tamara is has been super fun to mess with so far. And then I used one of my two Tamaras on Marnie. So now my Marnie has fortifications, reopening, breath of life. And yeah. Uh, when that unit is able to be plus 10, it's gonna be a nightmare, for sure. Mila plus <laughs> Felix plus 1. Gatekeeper plus 8. Nice. Peony plus <laughs> With the flared. I like it. Lamera plus 1. And Duo Fjorm. With Hardy Bearing, which is what you're supposed to run. Good on ya. But let's see who'll come out on top in the Battle of the Felixes. He has the HP lead. So, Hardy, Hardy Command... Uh, what the hell is that called? Harsh Command goes off, and his Felix comes out on top. Because, uh, he, has, he just has more stats. We're both plus speed, but he has the double clash, whereas mine has Hardy Bearing, so... That makes up for the extra speed. It is what it is. Alphonse can't do the job. How am I getting out of this one? With my unblessed gatekeeper, how am I getting out of this one? It, Robin comes in and just one-taps him. Yeesh. And then Ajura gets to play. It's a fucking miracle. I assume you quit after that. If you see Ajura get to play, you're out. Alright, and that's it. So, assuming nobody else slips in, I believe the total is 11 and 0. Another flawless season. I mean, these brave units, it's it's just so stupid. Basically, every top tier defense has Brave Robin on it now, and also the Firm Canto curb, but honestly, I haven't had the Firm Canto part actually come in handy, but Canto control period is a must on your ARD teams and Robin is on every team. Felix is on most teams as well, too. He's just so uh, fucking overpowered. He's just so fucking overpowered, honestly. He's just so under... <sighs> He's just so overwhelming as a unit in every mode, and yeah, ARD is no exception. I still like using Alphonse. Stacking Felix is still pretty fun. And I do want a plus 10 Alphonse over time, so I want to use him in as many modes as I can. But, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.